They crouch by the lake, squat-legged, bug-eyed and half lost in the undergrowth. No, you're not hallucinating. These are the Crystal Palace dinosaurs nestled in the boughs of Crystal Palace Park and their backstory is as weird and wonderful as they look. These sculptures were unveiled in 1854, long before most people even knew what a dinosaur was. The word itself had only been coined a decade earlier and Darwin's original species hadn't even been published yet. That came five years later. At a time when science was just beginning to challenge creationist thinking, the Crystal Palace dinosaurs were cutting edge stuff. Full scale reconstructions based on fossil evidence designed to educate the public and showcase Victorian discovery at its boldest. They were the work of Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins, a sculptor and scientific illustrator who teamed up with landscape artist Joseph Paxton to create an immersive setting that reflected the natural habitats these creatures would have lived in. There are 30 statues in total, arranged roughly in order of geological time, from the oldest species on your right to the most recent on the left as you face the islands. And while they look nothing like today's reconstructions, it wasn't just Victorian guesswork. They were using the best scientific knowledge available at the time and interpreting it through a completely different lens. Only four of the sculptures are technically dinosaurs though, the Megalosaurus, the Hyliosaurus and the two Iguanodons. The rest include ancient amphibians, flying reptiles and even a giant sloth if you're paying close attention. They might not be scientifically accurate by today's standards, but they're still a remarkable snapshot of a moment when the world was just beginning to understand deep time, extinction and the strange beast that came before us. In short, they're absolutely worth the trip because nothing says Victorian ambition quite like building your own Jurassic Park in South London.